Hi there my lovelies, this is Jenna here, welcome to my kitchen. So today we're going to make a Brazilian stew which is uh, very popular in Minas Gerais, uh, which is a, a very interesting state, I love it so much. And uh, I thought that it will be a nice time to bring it to you because I have just been in Brazil, spent almost three months there. And then I came back full of ideas. And this dish is uh, one of those that I've had two or three times and uh, vegan, of course. And then I'm like, okay, I gotta make it because it, I know it's summer in the United, in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, I know that, but bear with me. Keep this recipe in your, in your uh, food wardrobe and then you pull it out when you want it in the winter or maybe not, why not? During the summer, I mean, why not, right? and make it because it's beautiful. I guarantee you're gonna love it. So here's how I put it together. We're going to use, instead of ribs, oyster mushrooms, and we're going to shred them. And now because we want extra flavors, we're going to saute the mushrooms and let them become really, really golden brown. And why is that? Because we want the Maillard effect. What is that? To extract the best out of your food by making it golden brown, by, by sautéing it, okay? So you create that beautiful golden crust that is amazing. This elevates any food, not any food, but most foods, <laughs> the ones that you can sauté, to a very nice level. So that's the reason why I decided to brown them first. And now for some extra savoriness and umami, some soy sauce. All right, on a separate pot, we're going to add oil, olive oil, add some minced onions. All right, and for this too, we're not going to use any carrots and we're not going to use any potatoes. Instead, we're going to use cassava or manioc, depends on where you live, brilliant, because um, it's gluten-free, but it releases a lot of starch. So as it cooks along, mine here, they are frozen, as you can see. But uh, while they cook alone, they're going to make the broth extra thick, which is brilliant. Mine here, like I said, are frozen, so you easily can snap them in half. Now we're going to add tomato paste and stir for three minutes. This dish here, it uh, reaches all levels of uh, flavors. So uh, you have the savoriness and uh, from, the, from the soy sauce, also the, um, the umami from the soy sauce. And now you have some richness and some sugar from the tomato paste. And now we're going to construct, we're going to build uh, this um, recipe with blocks of flavors. And uh, I guarantee it's, it's simple, it's easy, only simple ingredients, as you can see. But at the end, you're gonna see how round all the flavors are going to be. You're gonna love it. Now we're going to add some red bell peppers. The cassava. Some salt, pepper, dry parsley, and some garlic powder. And then we add the mushrooms and some veggie broth. All right, all done. Now we need to let it cook for about 25, 30 minutes. But what's going to decide when, when your stew is ready is when the cassava is cooked. Because remember, we have already cooked the onions, we have already cooked the mushrooms. Now we are looking for all the flavors to communicate and uh, for the cassava to cook through. Also, like I said at the beginning, the cassava, is go as it cooks through, is going to release some delicious tart and it's going to thicken up the sauce. So depending how big your cassava is, it's going to take longer or shorter time to cook. Door. 
have it such a beautiful dish isn't it it is so good this is a hug in a bowl I trust me you're going to love it you're gonna have to make it I mean you can play around the flavors did you realize that I didn't put any tomatoes in it I mean I was supposed to but then I forgot and then hey it was even better I know but it was even better without the tomatoes go figure because I, I think that every stew I have made on the channel perhaps uh, apart from the stroganoff I have added tomatoes because I think it's the, the, the soul <laughs> of the stew are the tomatoes but in this case here the tomato paste and the red bell peppers did an excellent job amazing I loved it so I want you to make it but before I go of course I'm going to, ta to test it <laughs> do a drive test like we say it in Brazil because it smells so good mm. Mm. it's so good the fact that um, I haven't sauteed the um, red bell pepper so much gave them a little extra bite which I think it's brilliant I like different te textures in the food Oh my god, I can't wait to go home so I can finish this. Who can blame me? So I hope you make it and if you do, please tag me on social media, Instagram and Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And uh, if you want the printable recipe with all the measurements and the method, you go to my website, which is going to be written uh, over here. And I see you next time. Like I said, make it. I can't, I mean, I, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's because... Mm. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> I see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Bye bye.